Gopher ATL here. I'm doing a quick video just to show a new peripheral that I made. That's my uh, my first Minecraft mod ever. Uh, it's very simple, but you know, more deliberate to pick the simple idea since I'm it was my first mod and I'm learning the ropes. What it is, it is a Minecraft uh, sort of fingerprint scanner, except there's no fingers in Minecraft and not really even any hands, so I'm calling it a fist print scanner. And you can click on it, and it sends a signal. Uh, it's in an event to the computer, which is underneath it. And along with that event, it sends a unique identifier based on what player it was that clicked on it. And then uh, you can use that in a program just like you would, uh, you know, ask for a password or uh, username or password. And uh, instead of, you know, making them type in a password, this basically gives you a password for the user. And it, because it's automatically from the peripheral event, it is significantly harder to fake. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is how that works. And uh, here, I'll show you the program. It's a very, very simple program. There are much more sophisticated door locks out there. This is just something I threw together for the video. I didn't even put control T protection in here. Um, but I wanted to be able to didn't want to have to put down a drive and disk to be able to show you the program. Uh, I have a table keyed on the fingerprints, which I think this one is my this long ass string is mine. I might shorten those later, but anyway. Um, and then it just uh, pulls a fist print event, checks the print, see if it's in the authorized print table, opens the output. Um, now all the tricks you could normally pull to um, make you know smarter and more sophisticated uh, door locks uh, could be applied to this as well. This was just a simplest possible program to get it working. I should really be in multiplayer so that I could show you that this wouldn't work for if anyone else clicked on it, but you'll have to just take my word for it for now that it does in fact. Uh. Anyway, yeah, um, you can download the mod and uh, with the computer cross forums. I'll put the link to the thread on uh, at the bottom of the description, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be until uh, somebody makes a version of a bucket that works with Forge mods in 1.4.5. Since there's no block protection, anybody can just walk up and say "derp derp," um, you know, break right or not even bother with that. Just "derp derp." Um, so yeah, but it was a simple starting point for get me ready for doing some more complicated mods next. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you uh, decide to do end up using this mod for anything, uh, you know, tell me in a comment or post a response video and uh, showing it, and yeah.